This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 2, Multi-Screen Apps, Puzzle 4, Exploring Council.log. In the last level, we saw a new command, Council.log. You should have noticed that it prints out text in the debug council below the code. Below the code workspace. The debug council area is an important tool for programmers. That's this thing down here. And this is all true what they're saying. You've seen it display error messages, but you can now also have your program display messages there. You can find council.log in the variables code toolbox. Yep, right here. And it is the command you use to send messages to the council. It's just about the simplest thing you can do to make your code generate output. Yeah, so to create something that we can see. It doesn't show on this screen, it shows in the debug council. Drag out the council.log statement into the workspace and add it below the two statements there. Follow the lead of the first two lines, update the code so that it will say your name. The output should look something like this. Okay, so my name is Kurt. Um, if you're, maybe I should put <laughs> Mr. Kaiser if you're one of my students. The output should look something like this. Let's hit run. Sally student is great. And there we are. So this is going to be used to test out variables and things like that. And you'll see what I mean as we move on. Let's keep going.